And you're all very welcome to the penultimate stage of the HSBC Women's World 7 Series in the beautiful city of Langford, just outside Victoria, British Columbia. And we have two days of Women's Sevens Rugby to bring you plenty of points and silverware to play for. So our opening game in Langford on day one is England against Ireland. And Ireland get a chance to try and run this ball. Nice pass to Mulhall. Little dummy and go! To the gap, the captain. Lucy Mulhall, she's going to do it all herself. Oh, she just can't get away from Fisher, who chopped her down at the knees. And Richardson back inside the dummy. Beautiful play from England. Richardson's going to sprint clear. Alice Richardson gets the credit, but what about the tackle from Heather Fisher to make that try? Brilliant stuff from England. Pitch here at the West Hills Stadium, Japan, against the Horse Canada. Oh, Kenny Russell hits the angle. Up to the 22, the handoff goes in. There's one, there's two, there's the third one. What a great try there by Kelly Russell. <laughs> oh, nice little switch here. Well, J Japan's defence have been split by Emily Scott. And Emily Scott, you'll notice the way she held the ball in two hands to carve the opening in that Japanese defence. Kayla Maleski then. Megan looking overhead pass to Bianca Ferrella, and this will get the crowd on their feet. Bianca Ferrella opens the scoring for Canada. <laughs> Dutoy, we know she's quick. She scored a couple of tries already in Atlanta. The losing pass. It's a number of overlap on the outside. It could be a try for the debutante. Kisoka for the corner. Her second touch, her first try on her debut, and she pushes Australia in front. Ristayak. <laughs> oh, lovely little bit of food. A great feet. That was a left step. And has she got the pace to go on the outside? Well tackled. Wonderful lines of support, though, from Mini Lasimova. Wonderful sevens try there. Great support. Tramoulier, Lepesque, Guerra. Surely Guerra tries to break. There was two outsider. Pop pass to Lenig New. Where is that ball? Recycled. Guerra picks it up. And France are in for the winner. Lena Guerra, the hero for La France. Switch play then, oh, it's wonderful, wonderful play. Shannon Parry back into Cherry. Well, it was a double Cherry, wasn't it? <laughs> and we're all set to go. It's New Zealand against Fiji in Pool B. And they get the penalty, not rolling away the tackler. Sarah Goss, the captain. One try ready for her. The headbands come clear, but she's still going. Tries the handoff, Sarah Goss. Almost there. Now support, Fatka Simpkins to Williams. Oh, look at that beautiful pass. Off the top. Watch this flick of the hand. Knew she didn't have time to catch and pass. So the former New Zealand touch player, now Williams, just gave it one more touch. He used to put in at the line out. Oh. Secure, put the ball out. Oh! oh my goodness, it's blocked. Well, Patricia Garcia, she has been the outstanding player for Spain in this tie. Nicole Heverlin then with the close look. She tries to kick the ball out. The interception is amazing. I've never seen anything like that on a rugby field in my life. Behind the scrum, wearing that number four jersey, then is now Williams, and then cutting off in an angle, Stacey Vaca. Vaca to Portia Woodman. Woodman starts pumping the legs, pumps the legs all the way to the line. 
and Portia Woodman yet again scores for New Zealand. That's number 107 in her career. Rongetta wastes no time getting on with it. Can they come up with a match-winning try? Rewai with the pass, and Naya Basali, lovely hands by the Fijians. Still going. This is Marawa, back inside, Rongetta. Nangato doesn't see the planet in behind her, keeping it alive. Absolute champagne rugby from Fiji. This is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Can they finish it off? Lovely hands. Chance again, Nangasau. Nangasau in the corner. What a try from Fiji. Absolutely brilliant rugby. They've no interest in kicking. Absolutely none whatsoever. They're backing themselves to try and score. Nangato takes the pass. Nangato! Fiji have won it at the death. Fiji have won it at the death. Incredible finish to a game of rugby. That conversion was to book their place in the quarterfinals in the cup, and with that miss, it means they have to go into the bowl. It's absolutely heartbreaking after that victory. Let's have a look at the quarterfinal draw. This is to come tomorrow. Some mouthwatering times. Australia will play Spain in the first game. Then New Zealand against Russia. Russia today, who are only a squeak away from a couple of more victories. Canada, France should be an absolute belter. And then USA against England to round things off.